I want to be the very first person to capitalize on this because quite frankly, this is quite disturbing and very, very stupid. And from the title, yes, your eyes do not deceive you. This is an actual article and this pretty much pisses me the fuck off. The blogger has claimed that she has aborted her baby when she discovered it was a boy because of bad experience with men. And this is utterly and pathetically stupid. Taking your frustration out, being afraid that you're pregnant, you, you have a male fetus inside your body. It's ridiculous. Oh, oh my God. And she, she later on she says that she doesn't hate men. Bullshit, okay? I don't care if you have bad experiences with men, okay? It doesn't mean that you should abort a child because of their gender, okay? It's, if you plan to have a child, then you better go through it, regardless on whatever gender it is. You misandrous piece of shit. In her blog, the author known as Liana, wrote that she found out that she was pregnant in 2012 and describes the father as the donor, a.k.a. the rapist. Describing the pregnancy as a diagnosis, she said that she was ready to have a child. She also claims to be a feminist. No shocker there! Fighting women's rights to the point of issuing a career. <laughs> Joke. But from her writing... If what she says is actually true, she appears to be something of a misandrist. Thank you! Thank you! What's your name? Richard Harry Parkinson for Metro C C O U K? Yeah, that's a... Um, yeah, that's a mouthful. She wrote, One of the most prominent themes that I saw in these places was that men generally would look down on us, refuse to help us, or even lend an ear so that we can air out our grievances now let me just say that this is absolute bullshit men tend to help out women all the fucking time especially the ones that look very very attractive for fuck's sakes we have people on the internet those fucking white knights especially those from blue chat defend the living hell of the likes of anita sarkeesian zoe quinn and brianna Wu, and those people are from fucking blue chat you know who i'm talking about andrew norton sequester zone uh just hobbs justice all those assholes there are plenty of men that are willing to help women and this woman is so goddamn pathetically stupid and misandrist and i know the likes of andrew norton is gonna jump in and say that you can't be sexist towards men i say bullshit so when she went for an ultrasound on the baby it turned out to be a boy she reacted with the man hating bile that the rest of her blog seemed to follow this was her reaction I was in shock. I started crying, weeping at the thought of what I was about to curse the world with. Curse the world with. By bringing a male child into this world is a curse to the world. Holy fucking shit. If this doesn't prove that this woman is a misandrist, I don't know what will. And the lack of perspective just got worse. Crying, sobbing, uncontrollable weeping, mental anguish, the likes of which may only be experienced by those who have their lives destroyed by war. I was a refuge, I mean refugee, and my home was my refugee camp, an unfamiliar place that was just sheltering me. Thankfully, after the morning for three days, at the thought of bringing another monster into the world, yeah, monster. <laughs> and we're supposed to believe that this woman does not hate men. <laughs> no, she doesn't. No, 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 no. You can never hate men. Men can hate women, but you can't hate men. Mm -mm. No, oh, you can be prejudiced, but not hate men. She regained her mental health. So she popped along to an abortion clinic and had the fetus removed. 
She concludes, I don't hate men, bullshit. I hate the patriarchy. <laughs> that is beautiful. That is fucking beautiful. What men and even some women turn into, I wasn't going to let that happen with my offspring. Really? R really? You know, th there are plenty of feminists out there who teach their children th this, you know, indoctrination, you know, this indoctrination technique where women are ultimately oppressed. You can't teach your child about how oppressed you are. But then again, I suppose it's better than live in a world where your mother is a feminist cunt. The chances were greater that it would be, would, would have, excuse me, the chances were greater that it would be a male, it was unacceptable. If the curse returns, I would do the exact same thing all over again. Of course you would. Now, I want to show this blog towards uh, everyone, including the likes of Warcorp666, so that way he can get his drunken ass off and make a video about this shit. <laughs> because I know Warcorp666 enjoys this sort of stuff, along with official GATG, maybe uh, the likes of Skeptor, um, maybe Sargon of Akkad might share a little light on it. Even Monday match, I wish to see those guys make a video about this stupid, stupid bitch. I mean, how much you want to bet that this woman, if she had a daughter, would teach her daughter uh, to avoid men at all costs, say that men are very dangerous people, that you shouldn't trust them and such, and only trust those who are part of the feminist movement. In my eyes, this woman shouldn't even be a mother, you know. Her vagina should be stapled together and never, never be pregnant. Ever again. Quite frankly, if this woman was to actually give birth to a boy, this woman would probably end up shaming the boy for having a penis. She would basically teach the boy that he should hate himself for being a man. And as for having a daughter, again, she would teach her to avoid men at all costs. But hell, I would love to see the likes of Andrew Norton and Hobbs Justice try to defend this woman because, you know, it, it's absolutely ridiculous. I would love to see feminists try to defend her. So, bring it, okay? I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.